Hello and welcome to Auto Chunky Scratch. Now before we begin with this video, I'd like to give a warm shout out to Mazda Cebu. Again, thank you. And let's get back to the vehicle. And what you're looking at is a brand new 2018 Mazda 3. And this will be a full in depth tour. I'll be showing you the interior and exterior of this hatchback version of the Mazda 3 sedan. We won't to start up, but I'll show you the engine. And here's the keys to the vehicle right here. And so, without further ado, let's begin with the tour. And so to open, it's either you can use the key fob or the key itself. Okay, now that it's unlocked. And as you enter, you'll be greeted by padded armrest, solid panel, window switches, only the driver has automatic. Window lock, door lock, side view mirror adjustment, door bins with bottle holder, seat adjustment, your height, recline, your slide, field door and hood latch, right there, headlight adjustment, trucks to control switch, and now let's get inside. Okay. And over here you have your three spoke tilt and telescopic adjustable steering wheel and you have your headlight stokes your paddle shift and your wiper stoke and your paddle shift and of course you have your infotainment controls right there all right and now let's check on the infotainment without switching the engine on it's a push button start as demonstrated And of course, it's a touchscreen operated, as demonstrated. But you can also use the navigational knob right there. And again, as demonstrated. And of course, it also has a CD player, which is right down there. And in your storage compartment, and over here, you have your auxiliary port, USB port. USD card slot, 12 volt socket, right there. And of course, this is your storage compartment with a mini compartment, right there. And of course, your glove compartment. Okay. Your rear view mirror, adjustable. Map lights. Okay. And of course, that was your dome light right there. Your sun visor with vanity mirror without illumination. Although it does not extend, however, as demonstrated, but that's okay. And that shop right there was for your tickets or your other paperwork. And for the passenger, you have your sun visor with vanity mirror. And again, it does not extend. And now let's check on the instrument cluster. Okay. Analog speedometer, digital tachometer, and your fuel gauge right there. And of course, your information screen right there. Okay. You have your six speed automatic with a rear view camera. Okay. Parking brake. Okay. And now let's check on the exterior. But first, let's switch on the headlights, the fog lights, and the hazard. And now, let's go outside to check on the exterior. But first, let's open the hood. And let's continue. And over here, you have your side turning lights, 16 inch alloy wheels, front and rear disc brakes, your undercarriage, okay, you have your fuel door right there, you have your mini spoiler, 
and then you get bright brake light, rear combination tail lights, and your badge right there, your logo, your license plate lights with rear view camera. Okay. And now let's get to the front. And over here you have your halogen headlamps with projector type headlamps and your LED DRLs and your fog light and your grill. Very nice. Very good looking. And as you've seen the exterior, it's time to check on the engine. And what you're looking at is a 1.5 liter, 4 cylinder, 16 valve, naturally aspirated gas engine. Very clean. With the power and torque spec of this engine, which is somewhere right here and here. Very good numbers. And again, very clean for a gas engine. And now that you've seen the engine, it's time to close the hood. And let's go back inside to continue with the tour. And now let's switch off the lights, the hazard. Okay. And now that it's off, and now that you've seen everything, it's time to switch off everything. Okay. And now, let's get to the back part of the Mazda 3. And over here, you have your padded armrest, solid panel, window switch, bottle holder here. Okay. And now let's get inside. Alright. And of course, in the front, you have your rear seat pockets. Right there, on both sides. Okay. And with my seat preference, I still have good legroom, knee room, and headroom. And now let's try to sit in the middle. Despite the hump right there, I still have good legroom though. Right there. Knee room, decent, and headroom, very decent. Because your coat hooks and your handlebar. And now, Let's get to the cargo area, but first, your isofix are right located right there. Your armrest padded with cup holders. And now, let's get to the cargo area of the Mazda 3 hatchback. And before we forget, to fold the seats, just simply press the button right there, as so. And now let's get to the cargo area. And this is what it looks like with the seats raised. Of course, you have your pockets here. And on the other side, you have your tools, tethering points, anchor for your child seat, illumination. And over here, underneath the cover, is your spare tire. Alright, and this is what it looks like with the seats raised for the cargo area. And now, with the seats are folded, very large, and of course fully flat, very nice. And this is what it looks like with the tonneau cover, and this time without the tonneau cover. Very roomy, very large, very nice. And now that you've seen the cargo area, it's time to close the trunk. And let's move to the passenger side. And over here you have your 
solid panel, padded armrest, door bins with bottle holder, seat adjustments, right there. And let's get inside. All right. You have your roomy passenger side. I never explained to you the glove compartment, the infotainment, AC controls, CD or DVD player, your drive modes, transmission, park and brake, knobs and buttons for infotainment, cup holders, storage compartment with a mini compartment, 12 volt socket, and your other parts right there. Okay. Dual airbags for a passenger and the driver. Okay. And of course, your speakers. Alright. On the other side too. Very nice. And that was the in-depth tour of the 2018 Mazda 3 hatchback. If you have any thoughts about this car, whether if it's good or bad, comment down below. If you have any reactions about this car, again, comment down below. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Give a thumbs down if you don't like it, but that's okay. I respect your decision. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Mabuhay, drive safe, and good day. And before I let you go, click the link of my YouTube channel, Auto Junkies Garage, on your right. And you can watch my previous videos on your left. Thank you.